Now? Can you hear me now? Great. Now if you can uh, tell the director of Buffalo to sit down, it'd be great. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, everybody. Um, my name is, let me just start a timer so I know where we're going. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Richard Shaw. Uh, you might know me from some of my greater hits, uh, the project management Kanban on our e-learning platform. And today I'll be t talking to you about uh, one of our brand new applications, the Front Desk app. Uh, Fabian actually mentioned it in the uh, keynotes. Uh, it's quite nifty, actually. It's, quite, it's also very intuitive to use. Uh, but before I begin, of course, there is a QR code for you to uh, scan if you want to ask me questions or not. And there's also a uh, URL if you want to type it in instead because you like typing. Uh, but first, what's the purpose of this front desk application? Well, have you ever maybe had a visitor, whether it's a client, a prospect, of, like a prospective hire, or even a partner, come and not know where and say where to go or what to do when they show up at your office? Uh, or alternatively, maybe you're uh, really busy. You're working on a task at hand and you lose track of time and you forget that you're having some, expecting someone to come visit you or come to the office. Or maybe even John at your reception has to come to you and let you know that your visitor is here. The whole purpose of this application is to streamline this because, uh, well, never fear because the front desk app is here. Essentially, uh, Odoo likes to streamline all business processes, right? Become more efficient and gain time and save money. Well, that means every process we can think of, which e even something as simple as someone visiting you in the office. So this front desk app is we here for you to do that. Here are some examples of what you can expect. The whole idea is that you have a tablet somewhere or a touchscreen device where they can come check in uh, if they want to. Uh, of course, they don't have to do that. You can do it manually, and I'll show you both front end and back end of how that works. So here in Belgium, for example, we actually have six offices. We have one in Le Neuve, well, technically two buildings in Le Neuve. We also have three farms, or then Grand Rosier, really close, five minutes from each other. Uh, but we also have one in Antwerp. Uh, so that means you can essentially manage all visitors and all guests in one screen for all your different locations. Uh, quite simple, so it's uh, a good overview of what's going on. You can always see what's happening, as you can see, nine on site, drinks to serve, because yes, you can also serve drinks. But it's not a bar app, though. Um, it's also very straightforward and intuitive to use. The configuration is simple, and we'll cover that as well throughout this presentation. And what's also really nice is that you can offer your clients a really good first-hand experience when they show up, or your visitors. Where you can even offer them food, if may perhaps they are a bit uh, famished, fam uh, sorry, if they are a bit uh, hungry, maybe they forgot to eat this morning because they're in the rush to your office. Uh, or maybe they forgot to get, drink something, because uh, they, or they need to pick me up a coffee. So you can also offer them food, cookies, or whatever you need. But talk is cheap, so let's actually see it live in action. So I'm hoping that at this point in time, day two, you've seen this screen before. It's the main dashboard, the first thing you see when you log into Odoo. We have this uh, cool, nifty front desk application icon here. And here is what we saw before, where you have everything you need to in one place. But let's open it up. This is the first thing you see. It's designed to be on a tablet, a touchscreen device. You can even have a computer. Um, it's in dark mode, because Odoo likes to have dark and light mode. It's also really good on your eyes. Um, this is also not necessarily needed to be used for you know, an office. You can also use it for events. I had an idea of actually having all of you do it. Actually, in fact, I encourage you to scan this QR code right now. Um, this also is really nice because it lets you uh, scan it without having to touch someone else's screen. So if you don't want to get your hands dirty with someone else and just touch your device, you trust your device, then go ahead. Great. So we are at Odoo right now. We're checking in. I'm hope at this point, I'm hoping you've scanned it. And we're going to check in right now. So first, obviously, your name, email, and company. This can be customized in the back end, like which I'll show you a bit more later. The idea is uh, to keep track of who's visiting you. So in this instance, we're just going to have me visit myself. That is my actual email address. So feel free to send me uh, cat facts or whatever you want, or even questions. 
uh, and I work for Odoo. Um, next, I can specify who I am visiting. Uh, this will require you to have a user as well as an employee record. They're linked together. Uh, quite easy to sh uh, link, and I'll show you that later. In this case, I'm visiting Mitchell Admin, and I'm going to confirm. Now, this is really uh, nice because on the right-hand side, you see I have information that I can give to them, such as welcome to the office, here's Wi-Fi information if you need it, please wait here, and we'll be with you shortly. Uh, you can write whatever you want. It actually uses the HTML field in the back end, uh, so you can also have formatting as you see here. A very, very intuitive. Now, of course, you can ask if you want something to drink or not. Um, now, you're not limited to drinks, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. Of course, uh, no thank you and close will go back to the front screen that we saw before. So yes, I am famished. Uh, we have cola and water. And in instance here, it's co uh, coffee and cookie. You can only choose one. So what you would do is if you want multiple different offerings, you'd create a different record to show them together. In this case, I want a coffee and a cookie because that's delicious. And thank you for registering. So I'm going to close this and go to the back end. I realize that I need to, uh, ba -ba -ba. there we go, great. I'll refresh the screen. Quick, actually you just saw our new code making it very snappy. Also oh, it's an on-premise installation. And so we have three people on site, one drink to serve. I'm hoping that QR code worked really well. Um, but essentially if I open it, you can see all the visitors. I'm assuming that because no one's here, it didn't work very well for you, maybe? No? Good, we're moving on. Um, essentially I can see Richard, me, here. Uh, so I'm visiting. I want a coffee and a cookie. So this is the, uh, let me take a step back real quick actually. Again, the main, main screen you see here, three on site, one drink to serve. The idea is you're gonna have somebody responsible, whether it's John in the front desk or anybody else. And so they will be coming here managing this, let's say three on site. Um, I think I know what happened, it's an on-premise installation, so maybe that's why it didn't work out. But essentially the idea is, you'll see that I checked in. Richard checked in. I got a notification, so using Discuss, that has been revamped lately. And it, the idea is that if I wasn't on the other screen, if I was on uh, this one when it happened, when if you could sign in, unfortunately not, uh, I'd get a notification right away, like a pop-up, uh, a push notification to show, hey, Richard's here. So it comes in front and center while I'm knee deep or a focus on a task, it'll just pop up in my periphery. I know I need one drink to serve, so I can select it, and it will actually filter. So it, it's using the normal filtering to show you who's what you need to focus on in this instance, like drinks to serve, et cetera, who's checked in, who checked it out. So I can open it up, specify that I've actually served myself something to drink, and then when I'm done, I can check out. So checking out is a manual process at this time, so you'll need to actually open up each individual record to check them out. Let's follow the breadcrumb back. Um, actually, let's just look at some of the information we have here. You can see the name, phone number, if they entered it, email, who they're visiting or their company, whether they got a drink, etc. You can write notes here as well for whatever you want, maybe a great guest, or don't let them back in. Whichever you prefer depending on their experience. And that's pretty straightforward. So what's the configuration look like? Well, if we go to configuration, we have the basics information such as the, the name of the location. We have the company responsible. So it's multiple people can be responsible and they will get notifications. And then the kiosk URL. What I think is uh, really important to note about this URL is that it does not require a user. So in the past, there was an attendance app and I think this still exists, of course, you can have the attendance app show up and your employees can come check in. So a little bit different uh, functionality. But in that instance, you needed to be a user for a computer to have it, I believe. I might be mistaken there. But the idea is you just copy this URL, open it in incognito mode, send it to a tablet, and no users necessary. And it's automatically connected. Of course, you just need a good Wi-Fi connection or a hard line connection. You can specify if they want to see select a host or not. Um, for example, maybe an event, you don't need a host. So that's uh, something for you to specify. And I'll show you how to configure a host real quickly. Essentially, it's just anyone that is a user, Mark and Mitchell. But more importantly, they need to have an employee record. So Mitchell, 
here's the employee record. Um, and then you have the, where is he? There, related user. So once they're connected, very easy, they'll automatically show up as someone they can select as a host. Let's go back to uh, Control-K, and then I can go to uh, Front Desk. Forward slash. Come back to Configuration. Of course, I can go to Configuration menu instead if you prefer. They go to the same place, List View or not. And then you can get the authentication information. So what information are you going to ask for them, from them, whether it's required, optional, or you don't even ask it at all. What uh, I recommend is you pick what's useful for you, but what's also really nice is we can actually export the data you capture for mass mailing or even lead generation. So for example, if we had this up at Odoo, we can ask you all to um, input your email, which then if you want an update later, I could do easily do that uh, just by exporting and putting it to my email inbox. Then you have three different ways to get notified. You have Discuss, which we you saw the chat. You have email and SMS. Uh, discuss is easy if you're, I recommend it if you're actively using Odoo every day uh, so you get notification right away. Email is if you live and breathe in your email all the time, so maybe busy executives. I wouldn't recommend email if you already get a lot of emails anyway, because if you have a lot of guests, you're just going to get a lot of emails, with a lot of junk mail, you're just going to delete them anyway. So choose that sparingly. And of course, if you're on the go all the time and you're actively on your phone, the SMS is quite useful. Now as a note, if you are to have Odoo on your phone installed, you'll also get push notifications that way. So Discuss or SMS will have uh, kind of worked similarly. You can have the self-check-in option. As you saw the QR code, that unfortunately didn't work for you. I apologize. And then, of course, whether you want to offer drinks or not. Uh, I actually got some good feedback that sometimes you may not want to offer them drinks. For example, maybe you actually do a tour. You walk them around the office, and part of that tour experience is to take them to the kitchen, give them a coffee or whatever. So you can pick however you want. And now, of course, the most important feature is the dark theme we have going on here. So use it sparingly. Now, the drink configuration is very straightforward. It's just three, four fields, coffee, or the name, who is going to be notified about it, responsible, and the photo. Now, the sequence essentially just or, uh, determines what order it shows up on the screen. That's all it does. Great. Uh, so then, visitors, a few things to notice about that. We'll go back there again. Is that you can, of course, choose to 100% uh, manage it manually without the kiosk mode. Uh, the benefits are, is that when it comes to checking in, you can only pick one person you're visiting. For example, in this instance, I can pick multiple people if it's relevant for you. Uh, then, you, of course, you can offer multiple drinks in this instance. Uh, when it's on the, the kiosk mode, you can only choose one food option. In this instance, I could do multiple. Um, and then you can choose if you've served them or not. Very easy, straightforward, and again, the checkout process is a bit more manual. I did realize I just forgot to show you the HTML field from before. So we'll go to configuration and side message. So this is what we'll display on the right-hand side. As I mentioned, uh, it, it reuses uh, other technology we have throughout the system. So you can format it just by doing the forward slash command and choose any of the different options available to you, even if you want a checkbox. But you have to pick the one that makes the most sense because a checkbox probably might not make sense, but maybe a list would. So if you want them to sit down or I don't know, whatever information you want to send them. Of course, I didn't send an image, but that's okay. And then you have just basic reporting about what drinks, what items have they chosen to consume, as well as um, just who visited. Pretty straightforward, but I think you'll ma get more benefit from this one because it also has all the different metrics, the views you want on the right-hand side, but you can also filter, so who got cookies? Actually, you're gonna have to do a custom filter for that one. Where you go, drink. Is set or not set. So whatever information you want, I do recommend you can also just e easily export it if you want to generate that lead. It's a very intuitive application. I think there's a lot of um, potential for the next steps. Again, it's brand new, just came out this year. Um, it, it's not just limited, as I mentioned, to, of course, your front desk. It can also be events and lead generation. Um, 
that is the extent of the application. Uh, it's very intuitive so and easy for you to use, so hopefully you get to use it uh, as soon as possible, probably tomorrow. Um, Q&A? Ask any and all questions. Very short talk, but uh, that just means more time for you to ask good questions. All right. Thank you very much, Richard, for this presentation. I'm going to join you in the, in the stage. Please, you need the spotlight. Come here. Come, come, come. So, and uh, here, for everyone that wants to make some questions, there you, go. you can use here the, the QR code. So we have really interesting questions for this really nice talk. And it was really interesting, the front desk app. And the first question, Richard, is that, is it possible to integrate as well the front desk app with the inventory? So for example, we can, can we track the cookies and the coffee that was requested in the inventory app? Uh, at the, by default, no. Uh, but Odoo is codes, so you can. So technically, anything is possible with Odoo. Um, it just it's based on time and money. But uh, you could do that. I don't think I would recommend it because food and drink items are most of what we consider consumable. You're probably going to have them in a closet or a shelf, and you're going to eyeball it. You're not going to want. I mean, you could track it, but then you're asking any employee who ever pulls from this to go into your inventory system to reduce the inventory by one drink every single time. I wouldn't recommend it from an inventory management perspective, a bit too much work in my opinion. But yes, theoretically we could integrate it. That's a good recommendation. Huh? And sometimes, Richard, it can arrive that someone's going to a retail shop, for example, it's going to be a long queue. Is it possible to do an appointment with this front desk app? Uh, at the moment, it's, there's no appointments. Uh, you can, what I'd probably do is if it's long queue and you want to do an appointment, as you check in, you could add in the description like a URL. Um, to the appointments on your website, so it's a good way to set, redirect them somewhere else. Um, there, at the moment, you can't pre-create, well, if you want to pre-create an appointment, you could, but it's manual in a backend, so it's not the user who does it. It'd be something I'd have to use in the back, actually, that's a good point, I didn't show that. Uh, but you would just come here and report on dates. So you can create this in the future as opposed to in the past. Uh, but not for now, later. Good, good point. And now here we are in Belgium right now at the moment. And in Belgium, they have many languages. Is it possible to have a multilingual option in the front desk app? That's a great point. If you have multi-language installed, uh, it's just, a, and by installed, I mean turned on. It's really simple to go um, install it. Essentially, what's going to happen is on the top right-hand corner, it's going to have a language option. And I might as well just show you. We have some time. Let's add another language. French BE, because what, why would we do French French? I'm just kidding, we would all do it. Um, great. And so what happens is, let's uh, go ahead. Voila, so they can easily manage on their own. They can select which language they want to check in as. And about the customization as well, important point. Is it possible to add multiple questions in, uh, in multiple the front desk app? Multiple questions. No, it's just going to be a quick check-in. If you want multiple questions, you'd have it on the right again in the description. Um, I would have another do a, a, a URL to a um, survey. Actually, what's really nice about the HTML field that we have is that you can upload images. So uh, you can probably put a QR code in there, another layer, and have them scan it to create uh, to, to a survey if you want them to do that. That's good, that's good. And I guess a question, is it possible to receive people without appointment? I guess that it was the case, right? Uh, yes, I mean, that's the whole point of this is for a quick check-in on the fly. As you notice, there was actually no appointments created. Uh, they just showed up. Uh, but in the future, we, there's a lot of directions this could actually go into. Some ideas that I have would be to integrate it with a recruitment app to create an automatically an appointment or take appointments and merge them maybe somehow. Because appointment is online but this is more in person. So recruitment could be a good integration. Uh, CRM to bring customers in, but also projects to bring customers in as well. That's good. So another question regarding the uh, object as well. Why didn't you use the existing product uh, or product template to govern the data model drinks? So you shouldn't, uh, why create a new object for this? Um, uh, the question is one more time about a new model for drinks. Yeah, so why you didn't use the product, uh, uh, product. product or product tem templates as well 
to govern the data model in the drinks, in the case of the coffee and cookies? You uh, could. Cookies? Um, I, I actually don't know the rationale behind creating a new model in this instance, but if I were to think about it, uh, it's relatively simple. I wouldn't want to overly, overly complicate it with t selecting the type of product as well. Um, I'd have to ask the developer on that one. Happy to answer that at a later date if you email me, rsh at odoo. There's always the possibility to, to improve, to customize always. as well, no? And uh, as well, is it possible, you show that the alert message, it's receiving the do bot, right, in the chat, right? Is it possible to receive this alert as well via WhatsApp? Uh, that's a good question. I don't think we can consider that as an integration at the moment, but that's an obvious that logical next step to be able to do that. I mean, it's SMS. Um, so it, soon, future version. Good point. Thank you. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Uh, and how do you log uh, out as a visitor? Is it necessary to log in, to log out to the visitor itself? Uh, at itself? the moment, no. You'd have to do it all in the back end. Um, I mean, you, we could have them do it, but it's just an extra step for them to perform as they're walking out, something they might not even remember to do or think about. Uh, I think it makes more sense for whoever they're, they're visiting to do that on their own. Because uh, I, I, I'm just thinking, if I were to walk out of a room we're building, am I going to on the way just like click the button, buy? And, like, I might because what's going to happen is you're probably going to have a list, maybe of multiple people visiting. So displaying it all the same way. Maybe if there's a badge system, like attendance, but uh, next version maybe. It's always necessary as well to understand what are their needs and uh, how we can uh, adapt as well. Yeah. It's necessary, but it's a really, really good starting point. And the last question that we have, uh, is it necessary to have an employee or a user to attend the check-in? No. Um, everything I did was without a user. I mean, if you want to have a host to who they're visiting, that needs to be uh, an employee slash user. Um, we can actually test that to see if they need a user. That's a good point. Um, we have plenty of employees. Ah, uh, no, it has to be. Because as you see here, we have 20 employees and only two people were selectable as uh, a host. So if I were to create another user. This guy's an employee at every company. Um, Very famous, John Doe. Very famous. Probably almost as famous as Fabian. Uh, not, as, not as much, definitely not. Maybe not as much. He's going to visit himself, obviously. As you can see, no. So you have to have a user and employee at the same time. That's great. So thank you, Richard. Amazing new app that we have front desk. And th thank you, everyone, that joined this talk here, the Do Experience. See you in the next talk. Thank you. Bye. You did fantastic. Well done.